Hey, good morning. I remembered to look at the camera this time. We're going to tie a crafty bird in a sand eel, the sand eel version of the crafty bird, on a tube. There's your tube there. And this is basically what it's going to look like. So let's get started. What is this for? Well, this, this is a dynamite, what? A streamer. For what? Trout. I think you work for all kinds of fish. It's a Pro Sport Fisher Nano Tube. This is like a Sink 4. Uh, it's a drop weight. You can use all kinds of colors. This is a this is a large hook guide, but I'm probably going to use a medium for a smaller hook. Uh, I like to use a glow bug hook with these. And this is a you can use all kinds of cones, but this is an extra small, which I will probably use. So let's get started here. This is a Vivas uh, ADOT thread. Why am I using red? Well, it's because I happen to have it right handy. Um, this is an EP craft fur brush. It's sand and brown, or tan and brown. Probably tan and brown. So I'm gonna, I'm doing you, this is pretty wispy stuff. Um, it will look much more substantial or dominant or domineering or obvious uh, when it's dry than when it's wet. When it's wet, oh boy, it, it just thins out. It's very transparent and, uh, you know, craft fur is really fishy stuff. It's kind of like a rabbit strip. A really nice flow and wiggle. So I, I could have put another brush under there. I could have put... Um, I could have used some cactus chenille. Could have done all sorts of things, but I didn't. So I don't think you need to. If I wanted to make a fly look really complicated, I could do that. But we're focusing on fish catching ability. So we got good flow and wiggle and color. We got a little bit of weight back there to help this uh, help this fly penetrate the water. Now I've got some ice wing. And if you're watching the other videos in this series, you've already heard my boring lectures about how this can be difficult to work with. And so you can just pretend you, you know just what I'm talking about. This ice wing is called pheasant tail. This fly would work well with uh, copper as well. Uh, I'm cutting a little bit of this out because I don't want it to be too thick on the other side. There we go. Ice wing is just so much fun in the water. Okay, now. I could get fancy and use a different colored brush, but this particular pattern is, this color combination is so perfect to imitate the sand eel. I'm going to stick with the same brush. Now, where does the sand eel live? The sand eel is a little known food source for trout in many uh, rivers throughout the global range of trout species. And the only way you're going to know if the sand eel is present in the waters you're fishing is to tie on one of these flies and cast it out there. And if the fish grab onto it, you know there are sand eels present. 
And if they don't, well, try an olive colored uh, crafty bird or a, a white crafty bird or a black crafty bird. But I'm pretty sure the sand eel will work in a lot of places. And I hope you know I'm just making all that stuff up. Just to fill a little bit of white space there. This is, you know, seriously, this is just a good bait fish imitation color. And you see, I wanted to keep my thread quite modest there because I want to use a little tiny. Now I could use a gold cone. I like the contrast of that red. Let's slide this off. Now for years I've cut my tubes with too much room to spare. So I'm trying not to overcompensate by needing to. That's probably even more than I need. Nice thing about these pro sport fisher cones is that every cone fits on their tubes. So you don't have to worry about whether it's going to fit or not. Opening up. You don't want to be out on the river and find that you can't thread your tippet. And you also don't want to jam the needle into your index finger while you're doing this either. Okay, there you go. It's the sand eel crafty bird. Real fishy, tied in the round. Um, throw a few together, take them out there, see if the sand eels live in the waters where you fish. Thank you very much. So this is, this is an outtake. I did such a nice job on that video. And then I realized I forgot the ostrich. So here is with the ostrich. Here is the one I just tied without the ostrich. This one actually doesn't have the ice wing in it. So this is an example of both these flies are going to fish really well. I like the ostrich. Um, I, I, I'm leaning towards the redhead, but gosh, this just shows you how you can vary things. And that's how we save it, because the recipe is going to show an ostrich wing. Thank you.